Over the last month, monarch butterflies have been migrating from the northern United States to Mexico, yeah. this yearly flight becoming more challenging, though. Meteorologist Dajia Swat explains the challenge the butterflies face and the impacts it has on our food. The fruit that you pack for a snack has been touched by a pollinator. Every one out of three bites of food has been pollinated. And with the monarch population on the decline, this could impact the way our food grows. Who doesn't love seeing a butterfly flit around their backyard? Monarch butterflies are making a pit stop in Texas during October and through early November. They're moving from the northern United States down into central Mexico, where they will overwinter in the high altitude fir forests. Kate Unger with the National Wildlife Federation says the butterflies are a part of southeast Texas history. They have been here for thousands of years and relied on this part of Houston for thousands of years. This was historically prairie land with native plants just like you see here. The landscape has changed because of an increase in population and urban development decade after decade. With the loss in habitat of these native Native plants. The monarch population has declined about 90% over the past years. The decline started in the 1990s. There's a wide variety of native plants that do well. In the Gardens filled with native plants and milkweed can help pollinators like monarchs providing food and shelter year round, and they also give them a place to lay their eggs in the spring. I look for buckies on long road trips. Monarch butterflies look for nectar plants, so any flowering plant that you see around here is a fuel source for them to boost their energy. This this certified wildlife habitat is a part of Taylor Morrison's development in Cyprus, and they have planted a hundred of these across the country. Their hope it will help pollinators thrive. You know, building these butterfly gardens in our communities is, a, is it enables us to be a part of the solution, right? Not just the problem. Different plantings like this within communities make a real impact for bringing that species back. So no matter where you live or what kind of fruit you like, you can start a garden, even if you live in an apartment or a home. Head to Click to Houston to find out what plants would help those monarch butterflies the best. In Houston, Dodgy Swad, KPRC 2 News.